So for the past year, I've been making videos complaining about the Marvel formula. I've been bitching about how these movies don't surprise me anymore. And then we have this big, crazy, super expensive movie that's been built up to for 10 years. So at first, I was a little skeptical. I expected to not even make a review of this movie because I figured, oh, it's gonna be okay, I'll enjoy it, but it's not gonna be anything special, so whatever. But for the first time ever, I have been adequately surprised by a Marvel movie, but not in the way that you all might think. Now, before I drone on about how good this movie is, I'm gonna switch things up a little bit and I'm gonna list my complaints first. This movie does have some things that bug me a lot. Obviously, it's not perfect. I think the biggest problem for me throughout the whole movie was that there were just too many jokes. It was just too many jokes. Around the second hour of the movie, the jokes kind of start to just get annoying. Like, this is supposed to be kind of a big deal. I get that the Marvel Universe is supposed to be lighthearted and fun, but this is kind of like end of the world shit. This is a really long movie, and when you hear a joke every five minutes, they just start to fade into the background. Even when they were funny, I just didn't have it in me to laugh anymore. It's a shame because there are some really nice emotional moments in this movie, and a lot of the time they're immediately followed by a joke. One of my favorite scenes in the movie was where Thor is just talking to Rocket alone on their spaceship, and he's talking about how even if he loses everyone he loves, he'll keep fighting. It's insanely moving, and right after that you have Rocket making sarcastic remarks. This isn't the case with all of the emotional scenes, so it's not enough to ruin the movie completely. Plus, there were more than a few jokes that actually made me laugh out loud, so I'll give it credit where it's due. The second thing that really bugged me was that Captain America barely says or does anything in this movie. Steve Rogers gets a big awesome return in this movie, but after his first fight scene, which was pretty fucking cool, I really like that scene, he kind of just doesn't have much to say or do for the rest of the movie. He goes to Wakanda and he fights aliens and that's kind of it. Compare this to Tony or Thor. They get their own separate goddamn space odysseys to go on. Even Cap reuniting with Bucky just kind of falls a little flat. It's like every potentially good moment with Captain America is just snuffed out. For instance, in the comic, one of the best scenes shows Cap standing up to Thanos even though he already has all the Infinity Stones, but he doesn't give up because he doesn't give a fuck. Captain America's not the kind of guy who gives up. It's iconic. Here, that scene is literally just this. This shot from the trailer, that's all that it is. It could have been so much more. I was legitimately expecting this scene to happen, and when I didn't get it, I was kind of bummed out. I mean, yeah, there are a buttload of characters in this movie, and they don't all get a lot to do. I mean, I don't even remember if Black Panther had any lines. But Captain America is a big character. He's like the biggest character in the series, and we haven't really seen him in a long time, so I was just kind of bummed to see how underused he was. But either way, these problems are minor when compared to everything else. Whether you like these movies or not, I think everyone can agree that making it even happen is an achievement in itself. If you told me when I was a little kid that there was going to be a movie where Doctor Strange, Iron Man, and Spider-Man have a wizard battle in space with Thanos, I would have called you a big dum-dum because that should not even be possible. This movie should not even be possible. A lot of people have said that this isn't really a movie, it's more like a big special event. And I can definitely agree with that. It's like going to a theme park and experiencing all of the rides in just one day. If you don't read comic books regularly and you try to jump into a big crossover event, you're gonna be really confused. However, with this movie, they do a decent job brushing up anybody on things that they may not know. Characters have dozens of well-placed lines that subtly explain the past events for people who may not have caught every single movie. And that's not the only good bit of writing in this movie. I mentioned it before, but there's a lot of emotion in this film. A lot of the scenes with Thanos and Gamora culminating in him reluctantly killing her, Thor's struggle to return back to his former glory after the events of Ragnarok and his defeat in the first act of this movie, Doctor Strange realizing that their only chance to all survive in the end is to give up the Time Stone and let him and half of the rest of the universe get deleted. There's so many amazing character moments in this movie that I don't even have enough time to list them all. I'd seriously be here for an hour. I really didn't think Thanos was gonna go too crazy with the Infinity Stones. I thought that this movie was gonna kinda make it a little more subtle, like he was just gonna be better at punching people. But they went all out, like he was turning people into spaghetti, he was throwing planets at these dudes. I just like so much stuff in this movie. You guys know I normally don't fanboy over these movies. I'm a huge nerd, I've read an ass mountain of comics, but I usually find these movies to be kinda mediocre. But honestly, this is the Marvel movie that I wanted this whole time. 
There are seriously no breaks on this movie. You're thrown from one intense scenario to another. It's like a theme park, like I said before. There are scenes in this movie that are actually stressful, because normally you can watch a Guardians of the Galaxy movie and relax knowing that everyone in the main cast is probably going to survive. In this movie, you can't leave your guard down at all, and that excitement and intensity is what was missing in every other superhero movie. You know Spider-Man's not going to die in one of his movies, but that's not the case here because Spider-Man fucking dies in this movie. For years, me and my other comic book friends have joked around saying, yeah, Infinity War might be good, but it's not gonna have the farm scene, so does it even matter? The story ends with Thanos exiled to a farm. The last panel is him just smiling on a farm. The last shot is basically the same as it is in the comic, except the implications are vastly different. Like, I was joking around. I always used to laugh at that scene when I read Infinity Gauntlet, but in this movie, it actually shook me to the core. In the comic book, the heroes have won. Thanos is basically just accepting the fact that he lost. But in the movie, Thanos is smiling and relaxing because he won. Almost effortlessly. I already knew everyone was going to get deleted, like Evangelion style, because that happens in the first issue of the comic. So no, the characters all getting deleted did not surprise me in the slightest. What surprised me, at the end of the day, was the last shot. Not because it was an inside joke with me and my friends, it's because of the emotional significance. No Marvel movie ends with a shot of the villain happy and relaxing on vacation after he killed everybody. With the heroes scattered across the galaxy, beaten and emotionally devastated. It leaves you just as defeated as the heroes and that is just... It's just amazing. Now, Infinity War is not a perfect movie by any stretch, but it is the only Marvel movie that I personally can say that I loved. It's exciting, it's genuinely funny most of the time, and it has actually good action scenes. Even the soundtrack is good. I know this review is a little more personal than usual, but I really can't keep it in this time. It's very rare that I get to watch a Marvel movie that makes me happy that I read the comics and that I've devoted most of my life to stuff like this. It really got me, I gotta admit. So, I'm gonna give Avengers Infinity War a very rare 9 out of 10. I liked it. I liked it a lot. When Captain America throws his mighty shield, all those who chose to oppose his shield must yield. If he's led to a fight,